Hi, Matt here, back for another Silent Demon Transformer review, and I know I look like crap, but I just got off work, so I'm still going to do this. Anyhow, guys, today we have Combiner Wars, Legends Class, Blackjack. And I really am impressed with his alternate mode, or his car mode. Very nice, very cool little car. This is actually a sixth or seventh member of the Stunicon team from Combiner Wars, if we count uh, the version of Wild Rider that was released as an exclusive. But regardless, this is a nice little extra member. And he started out as an homage to the Target Master Sports Car, uh, Target Master, Micro Master Sports Car Patrol character of the same name, Blackjack. And uh, we can see his colors are very similar to that if you've ever seen him or if you own him. I used to own him, but I sold them. And we can see that where uh, this would be repainted into Rodimus because he has this detachable spoiler here that also acts as an axe in robot mode. And through the magic of film and animation, we're going to have this guy transform. And here he is in robot mode. And I really like this mode too, actually. He uh, looks really sharp. So he's articulated in all the standard places we expect. Elbows, shoulder, got a teeny little Decepticon symbol tampa graph there. Barely make it out, clearly. Got a nice face sculpt. I like his face sculpt. I wish he, they would have given him either light piping or uh, red eyes. Instead, we get these green, this green visor. But it's not too bad. And we can see he has a twist at the neck. Balls right here at the uh, thigh. Hinge at the knee. And that's really all we need. No waist movement at all, but not bad. You know, I... Even though I know I've said that ten dollars is too much to pay for a Legends class figure, I don't regret it on him because he actually has a larger application. He looks good on Menasaur's chest. I know a lot of problem people have problems with uh, keeping him on Menasaur's chest, but I like uh, a bit of old school. I think I think Pia suggested this to uh, place some clear nail polish on the pegs going into the port. And you do a couple coats of that, let it dry, and I think it should hold pretty well. I haven't tried it, but I've done it for other figures, and it does work, guys. So if you haven't tried it, I recommend it. Uh, but either way, just as a sixth bonus member of the Stunicons, I mean, now they can kind of challenge the uh, Seacons. They, they're not outnumbered anymore, even though they're kind of on the same side. But uh, Hassan's going to give this guy a solid 7 out of 10. I like him. He's a nice little Decepticon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the more awesome video uh, channels on, down below. Hit subscribe if you like. I, I really appreciate your views, your comments. Thank you again so much.